Today we're going to make oxygen out of hydrogen peroxide and batteries, both things you have laying around your house. And then we're going to do a bunch of fun oxygen experiments. Let's get to it. Now the key ingredient we're going to be using today is called manganese dioxide and it is found in these cheap uh, zinc carbon batteries. I just went to the dollar store and found the cheapest D batteries I could find. You'll notice they're very light. So, and he's already got one apart. Beautiful. <laughs> so there's two ways I've found you can take these apart. One is to cut one of the ends off with a hacksaw. The other is to do what he just did and carefully pry up one of the top, uh, the top piece. plate. I don't plate. know what this is. See if we can extract our carbon rod here. I'll just pull right. Boom, up. look at that. So that's fun. And now we've got to scoop out our manganese dioxide. We'll be ready to go. And we'll just use a popsicle stick to carefully scoop out that manganese from in there. It's a bunch of really dark black clumps. It's like a powder, but it's all clumped together. One warning I will give is this stuff is almost like a pigment. It is super stainy. It will stain everything. All right, I'm gonna hack this one apart. The casing is pretty thin, so if you just carefully go around with a hacksaw, you'll be able to cut through it pretty fast. We can just pull that top off. There'll be a paper cap under that. We can just rip that away. And there we have the manganese. And we can just poke that out from the bottom. All right, cardboard. we got it. Now let's do the experiment. First, let's take our hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna throw some of that inside this beaker thing, whatever that's called. Graduated cylinder. Is that actually what that's called? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's just take a chunk of this manganese dioxide, drop it in and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> in Gotta three, have my PPE. two, one. And it immediately starts fizzing and bubbling all kinds of scary black bubbles. Well, that is really cool. And it, oh, look, look at the steam coming off that. That's neat. Is it warm at all? This is actually an exothermic reaction, so it will heat up, um, but currently right now, the peroxide is still cool, so it's not heating up a we'll super amount. A but pressure. if it continues, it will heat up. To prove that this reaction is creating oxygen, let's take a match and see what happens. Let's let it burn down a little bit. See what happens if we put the match over it. Look oh, at how that go. immediately gets brighter. Oxygen, of course, drastically increases the rate of combustion. Look at it glowing in there. Ow, that's hot. A really cool experiment you can do with this is to take some steel wool and cut a hole in the top of the mason jar lid so you can jam that steel wool up through it, pull it on through, and if you put the lid on, the steel wool will hang down inside, and of course, because it's a glass jar, we can see right through it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna light the steel wool so it slowly starts burning, then we're gonna add in our manganese to get the oxygen producing, then we'll drop this inside and see what happens. What do you think will happen? Uh, I know what I hope will happen. I hope we get a lot of fire and this thing really throwing off sparks and having a great time. First, I'll dump in our manganese. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, that, that's that much more violent. Like that. <laughs> that is, <laughs> wow. Is sparklers that in a burn jar. that up like. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That... <laughs> oh, wow. That is almost too bright to look at. Okay, so it's melted the metal. It's it's, me it's melting it's the metal currently. it's still burning. I think that, that on. that's too bright to look at. That's like a welding that's, arc almost. I think it started Sorry. melting the lid. <laughs> that's legit. Whoa. We need more of whatever that, that was. That was awesome. Let's, Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally just going to pour all of this in there. How about that? All of it? <laughs> well, maybe not all, but a bunch. Yeah, a bunch. All right. All right, go. <laughs> Get it in there. It's stuck to the glass. That's potentially going to break. <laughs> oh, it's cracked the glass. It did it really? <laughs> yeah, it really did on this side. It's awesome. literally melting the metal. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? And it did crack the glass. Oh, it that, sure that's did. a lot of heat. Can I get this to fit on fire? Oh yeah. Yay. I mean, we're just pumping the inside of this thing with pure oxygen, so everything burns. Holy crap, that's amazing. <laughs> so much fun. Whoa. Whoa. It, yeah, the glass broke. Yep. <laughs> that's so fun. So obviously our jar could not handle the intense quick change of temperature right here. Cracked the glass all over, we dropped a piece out right there. And what's really cool, let me get these well, this, pliers. The, <laughs> the metal lid was melting. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Which means it was at like 2,000 degrees right there. Because this is steel. Oh look, it's it melted to the, to the glass. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, this is a canning lid and it's got a little seal around it, so it's stuck. Yeah, but that hole is much, much larger than it was when we started, which is amazing. <laughs> that was way better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take water with a little bit of dish soap. We're gonna add butane so that those bubbles fill with butane. We're gonna light that on fire so you can see what happens. Then we're gonna see if we can use our oxygen that we're producing from this experiment, pump it in and see if we can get a better burn. Yes. If we do it right, it will be explosive. But bang. All right, we ready for this? Oh, how cool. Isn't that fun? A really fun thing you can do with this is scoop those bubbles up in your hand and light them from your hand. We'll try that too. That's a lot of fun. Grant used to do that one all the time. Classic Grant experiment. <laughs> you want to do bubbles in your hand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do bubbles in your hand, man. Right now? Well. Okay, I'm gonna take off the lab coat because I don't want my sleeves to get wet with the butane mixture. Now the trick here is to scoop underneath the bubbles. So I'm trying to dip my hands down. I don't want to scoop up all the water, but nice big bubbles, flat hands, and then we're taking all the excess soap off the bottom. Quick, the bubbles are popping. Just light me on fire, man. <laughs> it's always so fun. Epic. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw some more butane in here. I say we'll do butane first, then we'll put oxygen in. Okay. Go ahead. I'm trying to not spill it. Ah. Ooh, that's a lot. I will put glasses on for this. Here, you want to grab the... Well, okay, sure. Oh yeah. Well, that's fun. Okay. This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> this is an amazing idea. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just tell me when you're ready. That's so cool. All Oxygen right. bubbles that's or butane bubbles. Probably enough. <laughs> Here we go. You ready for this? <laughs> Woohoo! <Yeah>. Hallelujah! <laughs> We have to do that again. I'm almost surprised it didn't break the bowl. I am a little surprised it didn't break the bowl. By the way, don't do that at home. Never. That's actually very, that's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Bad juju. <laughs> uh, Can we blow up something? Let's blow up this. If we enclose that force in any way, like it would, it would blow this up. If we can get the bubbles inside, this plastic will explode. All right, let's fill it halfway with butane. Maybe I should have put more soap in it. <laughs> and oxygen. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's probably more than enough. Hang on. Hiding. You ready? Ready. Fire in the hole. Nothing? What? Oh, it's because the butane bubbles are at the top. <laughs> the oxygen is at the bottom. Hey, let's turn it, let's turn it on its side. Uh, it's still burning. I don't know that I want to touch it. <laughs> okay. It's not burning. All right, let's turn it on its side. I'm ready. Okay. Ready. Fire in the hole. Nothing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not what I expected, but still really fun. <laughs> okay, so it's not gonna blow up unless we get the mixture of fuel to oxygen exactly right, and that seems like it's gonna be a bit difficult to do. So we might just have to give up. 
So what's the science going on here? It might not be what you think. Interestingly, well, initially what you'd think is that the hydrogen peroxide is reacting with the manganese dioxide and the molecules and atoms are reforming to form oxygen. But that's not actually what's happening. You will actually get the same amount of manganese dioxide at the end of the experiment as you get at the beginning, which means we're not using it at all. So all the reaction is actually happening within the hydrogen peroxide. We need to go to the fridge to explain this better. Hydrogen peroxide, or H2O2, is naturally, apparently, a very unstable molecule. It's actually very similar to H2O, water, it's just got an extra oxygen molecule. Now the key point here is that these two oxygen atoms are connected together with a long bond, and I'm not really a chemistry guy, but apparently this is a very uh, weak bond between these two oxygen atoms, so the hydrogen peroxide molecule itself is constantly wanting to fall apart. When it does break apart, the oxygen bond breaks, the hydrogen over here jumps over and attaches over on this side, forming H2O, water, and then this oxygen molecule is just, that's an atom, not a molecule, whatever, it's just left hanging out by its lonesome. So hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water, H2O, and oxygen. That is actually why hydrogen peroxide is always stored in these dark colored, opaque plastic containers, because sunlight actually uh, speeds up the decomposition process, so you want to keep it out of the sun. And that brings us back to the manganese dioxide. Now the manganese dioxide, again, is just acting like a catalyst that speeds up the already decomposing hydrogen peroxide. And it speeds it up by a lot. So this is roughly the correct chemical equation. It's unbalanced. Shut up. I don't want to hear comments about that. I don't care. So you have hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, converts into H2O and oxygen and the MnO2, or the manganese dioxide, is just acting as a catalyst. It's not actually involved in the equation. And that's how it works. So this reaction also works with yeast. We've put a little bit of water in there so it dissolves. We're gonna throw on our hydrogen peroxide and get it. This works with yeast as well because of an enzyme in the yeast, which I can't remember the name of, that also acts like a catalyst for hydrogen peroxide. And also, fun fact, this reaction is actually the same as the very popular elephant toothpaste science experiment. The trick is just to put soap in your hydrogen peroxide so that it bubbles up like crazy instead of just creating gaseous oxygen. So let's throw a dab of soap in here. Are you sure we just want a dab? Say less. Oh, I made a tornado. <laughs> that enough for you? Yeah, I feel better about this. All right. Hopefully this works. And then if we pour in our yeast mixture, it should start foaming up. Oh, it's all chunky. There you go. Now, because we're using a lower concentration of hydrogen peroxide, the stuff you can buy at the store is actually only 3%. The rest of it's water. Um, a lot out. of the- It feels like it's okay. getting- <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you have to do that? That's awesome. We were doing so well, we hadn't created a mess. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, That's fun. If you've ever seen like Mark Rober's oh. giant, super powerful elephant toothpaste. Oh, that's so weird. Oh. I believe he uses a much higher concentration of peroxide, which smell is that. why his is so, I'm not gonna smell it. Smell it. It smells like soap and yeast. Yeah. Like, that smells delicious. <laughs> that's so weird. Well, <laughs> are you kidding me? You got it on the ceiling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of The King of Random. Like and subscribe and let stay, the random happen. Stay random. <laughs> See you next time. This is what you said to do, right? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so. I did it again. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs>